Hi everybody and welcome to this little point of Cuphead. We're actually taking a look at it on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, this is Nintendo Switch uh, gameplay. Look at that. It even has its achievements from the Xbox One. So this is really nice. So I'm really happy with this. So let's start it off. And I do want to point out that it has been a while since... Uh, oh, you can actually choose who you want to play as. I can choose Mugman or Cuphead. So we're going to choose Cuphead. And as you can see here, there's quite a good animation style going on. And it's been a while since I've played. So you can just make me hunt too. Um, so here we go. And this is, by the way, the first time I'm really playing it on the Switch. Uh, everything else has been on uh, the PS4. And okay, I'm already starting to like what I see. It's pretty cool. I, I do want to apologize for the little uh, dot thing. It's pretty cool. To get the story. Alright. Yeah. You guys really have to go to a casino? Seriously. I'm already, like, thrilled to play this game. And it's been pretty cool. <laughs> Seriously. You don't want to trust a dude with a dice in the head that looks like that with a bunch of skeletons. And, wow. Okay, yeah. Nope. I look at the dude bowing. My god, heck no. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't deal. No freaking way. No, I would just. That's not me. This is actually pretty cool, and it makes for a great storyline when you think about it. But the game is going to be so hard. Perhaps there is the devil smirks pulling out a parchment. I have a list of my runaway debts. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. I couldn't help but I had to do that. Now get now get going. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. <laughs> and I love this music in the background. It's just it is so cool. And this fits in with the uh, you know the uh, the time period and the style and stuff, and it's just fun. And what surprises me already is how much of this already, uh, you know, how much it already fits in with what I have experienced on the Xbox One. So again, yeah, it's been a while. So <laughs> it's unfortunately been a while. And I can tell you right now that I am actually pretty impressed. And <laughs> I always found the... the the animation in this was just incredible. And I can see now why it took so long to do this. I mean, look at this tutorial. All right. I mean, look at this. There's so much going on here. It's not even funny. The detail work, the gameplay, the mechanics. All right. The tutorial. How to duck. Come on, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. All right. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to this controller, so yeah. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep hitting the wrong button. This is going to take a while. There we go. I gotta be honest that I'm gonna it's gonna take a while.
Wait, what? This is your ball airborne to notify and act with the pink objects. <laughs> to be fair, I don't even... I don't understand this. Wow, they really made this game hard. Remember, I'm just starting to play again. Push jump while airborne to nullify or interact with. Okay, that didn't. Okay. I think last time I just actually... pretty cool. I didn't even know what the super meter was. Damn. I actually went in playing without any knowledge. So, as you can see here, there's quite a bit um, that I've done. And it's just pretty cool in its own right. Now, I do know from my previous playthrough, I'm sorry to say I didn't get a chance to do any more, was, you know, how to do certain things and stuff. So, it's pretty cool. We have the world here. It's actually really well done. I'm actually impressed. I don't even... Oh my god, all the work. <laughs> There's the shop. We're going to just go with simple. And I did this last time, too. I actually did the simple first. Then I did the uh, the regular. And that was so I could learn the feel and just also try it out. Uh, you can't, you know. Shit. I'm already in deep trouble. Yeah, see. <laughs> I didn't even get that far. Oh, I'm still trying to learn how to play. Okay. Well, I can actually attest that the frame rate is still very good. I mean, and remember, this is 720p off of a game that's normally 1080. I'm still learning everything. <laughs> He's throwing a worm at me. 
And this is just, you know, this isn't even the review. This is just checking out the game. My friend actually came over and he saw this and he's like, Seriously? You're... See, this is harder than you think. Damn, but I was pretty close still. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quit for right now. But uh, mostly just because, you know, we've got the recording and stuff. I mean, I'm so damn happy to have this on my, uh, on my, uh, on my Nintendo Switch. It's fine as hell. I didn't even win, and I was having fun. And remember, I'm still trying to get back into playing this because, uh, I was doing pretty good on the, the, the Xbox One. But again, right now, I probably would be slaughtered like there's no tomorrow right now. So, thank God I'm, uh working to play again and I'll probably do it on both versions so as you can see here it's just going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to do the same thing for uh, MK11 to show off what it looks like on the Switch and stuff um, you know this is great I love the game already I did what I had it on my X1 it's one of the reasons I owned an X1 and now on the Switch this just makes my Switch all the more fun to own to play <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun. And I know you are too. I highly recommend the game. You know, Dark Souls kind of people are going to have a lot of fun. Uh, once I'm a little more in, I'll actually do a review. But this is just, you know, my first look at, you know, the Switch version. And it's worth every penny. This is, this is worth every penny. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy.